trust me making the tutorial video is not easy it is not easy it's never easy it is not easy trust me you know from making the videos editing the videos compiling all clips together you know making it to just making it into just one video it is it is never easy and it's not easy trust me and then you know uploading the video as well and on the long run you have a lot of views um sometimes low views but even with the fact that you have a lot of views just few people only likes the video just few people it is discouraging like it is very discouraging please can we all turn a new leaf can we all turn a new leaf try as much as possible to like this video if you found the video helpful don't forget to comment as well and i will appreciate if you can subscribe if you've not yet um subscribe to this channel thank you so much i am Adia love that the fashion school um where the fashion designs and bag making and this channel is purposely for bag making you know purposely for bag um tutorials for now yeah for now so let's get started into this work i'll be making this beautiful piece of bag hi i'm making this beautiful piece of bag it's a designer bag you know and the um the shape of the bag is kind of um unusual you know <laughs> so the length i'll be working i'll be working the width of 12 inches so in other words it's inclusive width of 12 inches um and then for the width width of 12 inches and for the length i'll be working with 8 inches so in other words it's inclusive as well so at the side i'll go by one inch and to the width side to the width side i will take in one inch as well and then i'll connect it in the cuff line how connect it in the cuff line So going to the upper part i marked the middle which is um six inches so um at the middle I shocked have an inch on both sides making one inch all together do you understand like have an inch on both sides so from that have an inch to the down part where i curved i'll connect the lines together i'll connect the lines together you, you can make use of your cuff ruler and you can also make use of um you know freehand so you connect it together and then other upper part you just try to blend it together do you understand because i don't need a sharp um edge so you just have to blend it together so i would advise you use your free hand so that you can um you know shape it perfectly yeah so that you can have the shape perfectly so once i'm done cutting once i'm done cutting i'll repeat the same process for the other parts do you get that i'll repeat the same process for the other side now i'm done with the drafting this is the first drafting that i need and um, the side will come on the long run so i'll be needing two pieces of this material two pieces of this material which is the front body and the back um, body do you get that so after cutting it out i'll be piping it all around that's the first thing to do so in piping it all around i'll be making i won't be making use of my piping i'll be making use of this same leather material so what i need to do is just to cut about one inch of width and the length of the um leather is going to be determined by the overall measurement the overall width of the body do you understand so i just need to follow the shape the way it is So at the end part here, I won't be using a closure. Yes, I won't be using a closure. So what I will do here is just join both ends together by half an inch. Do you understand? Just join both ends together by half an inch.
now i'm done with the piping i'm done with the piping i'm very sure like i'm very sure you understand um the step involved do you understand so the next thing i need to do now is to repeat the same process for the other body don't forget it is two pieces that i have which is the front body and the back body so this is i just did one now so i'll be repeating the same process for the other one now i'm done with both piping i'm done with both piping so the next thing i need to do now is to fix my zipper so in fixing my in fixing my zipper part what i need to do now is to first take the all-round measurement the all-round measurement so after taking the all-round measurement what i have here is 33 quarter in total 30 inches and three quarter inch that's what i have in total 30 three quarter inches so i the zipper won't be getting to like the old space the zipper won't be occupying the old space so from the down part i will come up by three inches or even three and a half or four inches i'll repeat the same process so i'll take the measurement from one side where i mark to the other side so here in this case i have 13 inches 13 inches so meaning i'll be using 13 inches for the zipper side do you understand i'll be using 13 inches for the zipper side and then i'll be adding one inch to it making 40 inches so the one inch is going to serve as the sewing allowance so now here is my zipper part i have three inches for the width three inches for the width and then for the length i have 14 inches don't forget originally it's 13 inches with one inch sewing allowance that is 14 inches in total so i'll be fixing my zipper i'll be fixing my zipper please um if you are very conversant with my video i'm very sure you should know how to fix a zipper now i'm very sure you should but if you are a first time viewer or you're still a beginner and you don't know how to fix um a zipper please check my previous video please check my previous video you will definitely um understand Once I'm done fixing the zipper, don't forget to fix your zip head. Don't forget to fix your zip head. So now, in giving out the shape, I won't be using just normal straight um, joining. I'll be using a kind of curve. So in this case, I came in by one inch and then I make a slant line. A slant line on both sides. Yes, on both sides. though on the long run i realized when i ended up cutting about one and a half inches yes so i'll be repeating the same process for the other side So the next thing I need to cut now is to cut the down part, the down part that is going to make up the whole um, measurement, the overall measurement. So don't forget I said, um, I initially I cut 14 inches for this. So this is 14 inches, I still have my 14 inches here. So I decided I'm left with 11 inches. So the next thing I need to cut now, don't forget I said the overall measurement is 30, 3 quarter inches. So don't forget I said I have 11 inches left for the zipper, I have 11 inches so 11 inches don't forget one inch out of the 11 inches is for sewing allowance so basically i'm left with 10 inches at the zipper part 10 inches so 10 inches um if i'm to do 10 inches from the 
33 quarter inches overall measurement so i'll be left with 23 quarter inches do you get that so i'll be left 23 quarter inches and then i'll need to add one inch for sewing allowance that's 21 three quarter so the down part now is going to be 21 three quarter So for the width, I have 5 3 quarter inches for the width. So now what I will be cutting is 21 3 quarter by 5 3 quarter. Do you get that? So in giving it the shape, I'll be placing the zipper part on the down part. Do you get that? So I'll just have to trace out the shape and then cut it out. And this part so once i'm done cutting it out i'll be repeating the same process for the other end Now I'm done cutting it out. So the next thing I need to do now is to join it together. It's like you just have to follow the shape. So this is the outcome. This is what you're going to have once you're done joining. So the next thing I need to do now is to top stitch. Yeah, I don't want to leave it like that. So to make it more relaxed, I just have to top stitch. Here is the outcome. So I'll be repeating the same process for the other part. But before I repeat the same process, I'll be fixing my D-ring. Yes, I'll be fixing my D-ring to um, both sides of the zipper. So I already have my D-ring fixed. So the next thing I need to do now is to um, get my hand root done. So in sewing my hand, what I have here, the measurement is 2 inches of width. I have 2 inches. And then for the length, I'm working with about 20 inches. Yes, about 20 inches. So I'll be using this wire, I'll be using this wire. 
so what i need to do now is just to place the wire in between the leather and then i'll be leaving about half inch on at the upper part and at the down part do you stand? because that's where i'll be sewing to the bag and i won't want it to be kind of too thick do you understand so i'll be leaving about more half inch at the upper part and at the down part before fixing my wire now i'm done with it i'm done with the fixing so the next thing i need to do now is to attach the undo to the um body do you understand so in attaching the undo i'll be leaving i'll be measuring three inches from the middle to the down part like i'll come down by three inches on both side both the left side and the right side i'll be leaving i'll be coming down by three inches do you understand so that's what i'll be showing um my hand do So now I'm done fixing the first undo, I'll be repeating the same process for the second undo. So now I'm done fixing both undo. So the next thing I need to do now is to fix my bottom to the side, like you know the overall measurement. This is the overall side, so I'll be fixing my bottom to it before fixing it to the body so i have my bottom cut out already i'll be making use of don't forget the length the width sorry the width of this side is five three quarter inches so i'll be working with the same measurement for the bottom which is five three quarter inches but for the length i'll be working with um eight inches do you understand like for the length i'll be working with eight inches eight inches and then for the width i'll be working with five three quarter inches so the first thing i need to do now is to locate the middle So after locating the middle on the side, I'll be locating the middle on the bottom as well. I'll be fixing my bottom stand to the bottom. And after that, I'll be joining, I'll be placing the bottom on the side, on the um, down part of that overall measurement, do you understand? Like overall side, in the side part. So where I notch, I'll be placing it on each other and then I'll be running the stitch all around the way it is. And once I'm done with that, I'll be joining the side to the body, the front body and the back body. Do you get that? But I'll be doing that off the camera because it is a very easy thing to do. A very easy thing to do. So there's no need of me um, showing this part. So you just have to follow the shape the way it is. You just have to follow the shape the way it is. Not to make the video lengthy. So that's why I won't be showing this part. So just follow the shape the way it is. And repeat the same process for the other side. So now I'm done joining both the body and the sides together and then here is the outcome. So please remember to pipe here, yeah, remember to do inner piping, remember to pipe the um, sewing. But in this case, I won't be piping it, but please remember to pipe, remember to pipe. And once you are done with the piping, then you turn it outside. Yeah, in this case, like I said, you just have to modify all the measurements, the sizes, like the way you want it to uh, the way you actually want the back to be based on your own preference do you understand so you can decide to make use of lining but 
personally i'll be i won't be making use of lining you can decide to make use of your inner lining pocket and then piping as well do you understand so once i'm done with that i'll be turning it outside for you to see the outcome yes i'll be turning it outside can you see how lovely the bag is looking can you see the shape can you see the shape the shape um you know the shape is giving <laughs> so please even though you've not yet subscribed to this channel don't leave this channel like don't drink from this well from the well of this channel without without subscribing <laughs> stop it and please don't forget to like this video don't forget to like this video it is very important thank you so much for sticking with me this far i love you all see you some other time bye